Good morning. This will be the starting point for today. Guessing Church. And we start here, head north across the fields, join up with another little back road somewhere, turn down through a local bit of woodland, and come out the bottom, round the loop, and hopefully end up here. Never done this walk, so let's hope I can stick to the route. See you in a minute. Right, I've got to cross these fields and roughly head towards. I can't see, we've got sun on the screen. There's a house there ish on the skyline. Head towards that, turn right. I've got about 200 metres of road to do and then back into the woodland to come back round. Or that's the plan. Now, according to the mapping, the footpath goes straight across this field. I have checked it. Um, there is a faint line in the dirt. And also, I can see boot prints. So I think I'm on the right line. The uh, electricity pylons are there. I don't know if you can see them, it's very bright. And the footpath runs roughly parallel to them. So I think I'm on course. Or I hope I'm on course. Sorry about the wobbly camera there. Free hand. People talk about being in isolation. I think this probably counts. There is two other people here. You'll see in a minute. Or maybe you'll see them. You can make them out walking along that fence line there with a dog. They're probably half a mile away. Yeah, I think that's safe social distancing. See the church up the top there? That's where I parked where I started. And I think it'd be too bright because it's towards the sun. But uh, over there is the nice big lump of woodland that I'll be coming back through. Right, let's cross the big field. Um, I thought I was going the right way. Just a bit of basic map skills and observation. You can't really go wrong. I checked on the far side of the field to make sure I was in the right place. And on the map it showed the footpath running roughly parallel to the electricity pylons. And although they're a bit ugly looking bloody things, but they can be a useful navigation aid. The map showed the footpath roughly I need to stay left of the pylons, about 100 metres, but running parallel to them. I couldn't see the finish point of the field, as it were, because of the crest in the middle. But once I come over that crest there, I could see the gap in the hedge that's in front of me. It's not difficult. Just have a good look at the map. Let's carry on. Right, I've just got a short section of this little back lane to do, and then I'm off road again. Although, it's a very pretty little lane, and it's very quiet. Right, I'm just walking past the old Pickham Mill. Not that there's much sign of the, the mill left, and I don't know how much you can see in these funny light conditions because looking at the screen it's very bright near to but very dark in the distance. 
mill stream pops out there little waterfall I would guess the wheel was probably there somewhere and that's what has you know been driven but there's not a lot of evidence left of it really a few steps there and back there the old middle house very pretty though as you can see no one drives this lane too often doesn't get a lot of traffic I see all the, the debris in the centre uh, just as a slight note if you are doing a lot of walking on the road stay on the right so you're facing oncoming traffic but on real little tracks like this where it's you know one lane really just try and stay on the outside of each bend it just gives the drivers a bit more opportunity to spot you and you dive in the hedge if necessary just because there's some bloke in the field it doesn't mean you're being fed so I'm sorry all I've got is a packet of Tic Tacs and I'm not pouring them into that trough you're rather smart nice brown one Actually, you look the same as the one, as the colour as the uh, the one on my bed. It might be one of your relations. Right, enough sheeping. I left the road there, over that little stile. In the distance there, as looks like the entrance into the woodland. I hope. Right, it's not quite shown on this map, but where I started was about here, and this was the footpath I followed up here, past the pond, out into the next big field, cut across onto the lane, past the watermill place, to this gap in the hedge where the sheep were, into the woods. Now I'm going to follow the main path down through to where it intersects here. Hang a right, although it looks like left on the film of course. Out of this section, back up past this pond and back to where I started. It's normally quite, uh, quite busy in here. Um, it's not a wood that I know well, Gessling wood, I don't come to it too often, but it's quite famous for its woodland flowers, one or two things, and facing the sun there, so it might be a bit bright, but that's the car park, gate's locked, it's shut down, but there's nothing to say you can't walk, just not park and gather, so... Today, so far, I've got it to myself. Bonus. Right, I think I'm at the junction of paths that I want, and at this point I need to turn west. Now, I know roughly which way it is anyway, but is is a thought. Rudimentary clock face. Ten o'clock in the morning. Orientate yourself so you're looking at the clock. 
as you would do normally. So where I'm standing, that shadow, is roughly 10 o'clock. So that would be 12. That would be 6. 9. 3. Midday, it's it due south. Well, so south that way. I need to go west. I need to go that way. Roughly speaking, you know it's not spot on. You know it's not 100% accurate. But when you're in the thick of the woods, it will give you a good idea. Back to the church, that was a nice circular walk. Um, probably 50 50 split between open countryside and woodland, with just a, a little road section, but that was five minutes at the most on that little back lane. Although it took me a little longer because I was back and about the camera and doing all this. But yeah, enjoyed myself. Lovely morning. And although the walk's finished, there's a nice bench here in the cemetery, graveyard, whichever you'd like to call it. I'm going to pull a bit of food out, sit, have a drink, have something to eat, and just take in the scenery and the nice weather before I go home. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you all soon, take care.